Earlier, Bloomberg's Nate Langson spoke to Atomico co-founder Matthias Lungman and head of research Tom Wiemeyer about their gaming report. He started by asking if we're close to having a single video game with one billion users. Well, I think that's something really exciting to think about, but I think we're pretty far from uh, getting there right now. Uh, but what we can say is that the games today are becoming much more enduring that we, than we thought they would be. I mean, I think previously we thought these mobile games, oh, they'll be a flash in a pan and they'll disappear. But we're seeing now that they're actually becoming quite old companies and lasting brands. And so Angry Birds, The Clash of Clans, uh, and so on are, are beginning to, to, to keep the test of time. And what about sort of individual user spending, Matthias, in terms of uh, the Chinese market? Are they, are they spending significantly more per user than, than anywhere else in the world or, or lower? Well, this is the th thing, again, I think most people would think that China is a place where you have lots of users and actually not a lot of spend. But it's actually a little bit of the reverse at the moment. The trend has been incredible. Over the last three years, the amount that Chinese are spending online has increased by 10x. And so they've jumped up the table. And so today, a Chinese gamer is, is spending 30% more than a, than a US gamer. So the transition has been pretty incredible. Mm. Um, Tom, one of the big surprises for me, I think, was sort of how loyal Chinese gamers are uh, to the Chinese uh, headquartered companies making the games. I think something like 93% uh, of, of, of gamers in China are, are playing games uh, or spending on games developed by Chinese companies. I mean, is that figure accurate? I mean, how, how does that compare to what you expected, maybe? No, that's right. You know, the Chinese market in terms of games is the most localized in the world, even more so than, than other very local markets such as Japan or Korea. Um, but I, you know, I think if you look at other content um, categories, whether it's the film industry or the music industry, you know, what we've seen is that there is strong demand in China for great international content. Um, you know, film franchises such as The Furious or Transformers or even actually Rovio's Angry Birds movie have had enormous success in China. And I think you know, what we've also seen looking specifically at games is that you know, European games companies such as Supercell and Rovio and, and, uh, and, and Mojang with Minecraft too these have all um, you know, had, had a lot of success in China and, and actually some of the numbers that we found were that European games companies have been able to increase their revenue in China ninefold in just the space of two years. So we're now seeing that those companies uh, are already generating hundreds of millions of dollars in that market. But of course, given the sheer scale of the Chinese market, you know, they're, they're barely scratching the surface.